In this particular lecture, let's go ahead and learn about handling events in a React application. So handling events in React is a little bit different as compared to regular JavaScript. It's almost the same, but it has a little bit of difference. So in order to understand event handling, let's take a different example and let's create a brand new component from scratch so that we don't have any confusion. So for now, let me close those files which we have up over here and let's create a brand new component. Let's call this particular component as function event.js. And first of all, let's talk about event handling in a simple function based component. And later on, we will also check this in the class based component as well. So for now, let's create a component. So in order to create a component, I would say function, uh, let's call this thing as function event. And inside this function, let's make this thing return some JSX. So for now, I'll create a div here, which is going to be the parent div. And let's say this thing says functional component. And now let's add a button here. And we are going to be dealing with the button click event. So I would say click here. Okay, so once we have this, let's now export this particular component. So export default export the function event component and once that is exported let's import it up here so i would say import that's going to be function event from this component and then let's use this component here as function event okay so now once this thing is done if we go to the browser you will be able to see that it says functional component i click here nothing happens now the question is how to handle the click event on this button. Now in regular JavaScript or in regular HTML, what you would simply do is that you would simply add an on click to this particular button. So you would say on click and you would define a specific method which needs to be executed. However, in this case, as we are using React and as this thing right here is JSX code, you actually need to go ahead and use on click in camel case letters. So this is the camel case convention wherein you go ahead and use a capital letter for each new word. So it says on click here. And even if you hover over that, it says that it's a JSX attribute. And this JSX attribute is used to handle a button click. And now here, we simply need to go ahead and make this thing equal to the event which we are going to perform or function which we want to execute. So let's say, I want to pass in a function name here. So that function name needs to be passed in a curly bracket because this is JSX code. And in here, I could pass in any JavaScript function which I want. So right now we don't have any function. However, I'm going to pass in a function called as handle click. So this is the name of the function which we are going to create. And there's one more thing which you need to remember here is that whenever you are going to pass in the function name, you don't have to pass in parentheses just like that over here, because this actually means calling an actual function. However, you don't want to call that function here itself. So what would happen is that if you pass something like that, even without clicking, this function is going to get executed whenever this JSX is going to be rendered. So be aware of that and never pass in parentheses here. Okay. So now let's define this handle click function. And obviously we define that inside this functional component itself. So here I would create that function. So I would say function handle click. And remember that you could also make use of arrow functions over here as well. Uh, just for the sake of simplicity, I'm using regular functions. So here I would say console log and then I would log something to the console like button is clicked. Okay, so once that thing is done, let's check if this would work. So I'll go back to my browser. And now first of all, I'll open up the developer console here. So right now we have a bunch of warnings here because we have imported certain components and not used them. So you could ignore them. And now if I click here, as you can see, it says button is clicked. If I click one more time, it would say button is clicked one more time. That means we have successfully handled the button click event on here. 
So right now we have not performed any other actions apart from just logging something into the console. However, we will be doing that later. This particular lecture was just about understanding how to handle a simple click event in a function based component. So the only thing which you need to do is that you need to add an on click attribute there pass in the name of the function which you want to execute and then just simply create that function as you would create in regular JavaScript. The only thing which you need to remember is that you need to use on click in camel case as this is not simple HTML or JavaScript and it's JSX. And also the other thing which you need to remember is that you need to pass in the function name over here in curly brackets and you don't have to make a call to that function and if you make a call like that and if we go back here if we hit refresh as you can see even if the button is not clicked it says that the button is clicked because you're calling this function which means that whenever this JSX is going to be rendered on the DOM this is going to be executed because this is a function call and the function gets called automatically so remember that you have to get rid of that and now it won't display that in the console unless and until you click this button. One more thing which you could do here is that you could actually convert this thing into a arrow function. So you could say something like const handle click use the arrow notation over here to create a function and then say console log button clicked you could do that over here and your code should still work absolutely fine. So that's it for this lecture and in the upcoming lecture let's talk about handling an event in a class based component. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.